Hello and welcome to Module 1, Introduction to Machine Learning Observability and Monitoring. In this module, we will gently introduce to you key topics related to machine learning, monitoring and observability. We will discuss what can go wrong with machine learning models in production, what monitoring and observability is and how they fit into machine learning model lifecycle what types of evaluation you might need from model quality to data drift, and key considerations to keep in mind when designing your monitoring. This is a theoretical module. At the end of this module, you will know the key concepts related to machine learning, monitoring and observability, and how they will be presented throughout the course. Evaluations in machine learning lifecycle. I believe everyone would agree that building a successful machine learning model is a quite tough task by itself. You need to perform a lot of different steps like data preparation, feature engineering, model training, model evaluation and model deployment. During these phases, we need to perform some evaluations. For example, during data preparation, we need to make sure that we understand our data correctly and our math problem statement is right. So we need to do exploratory data analysis in order to understand our data better. Then, during the experiment cycle, we need to validate and test our model so that we need to implement something like cross-validation and holdout testing. And finally, when we have our winner, our best model, we need to deploy it to production. Unfortunately, our evaluations doesn't stop there, because we need to make sure that our production model is safe and sound. When we use our model in production, it starts to generate some value and each failure costs us something. This is why it's important to monitor data and model. Now let's discuss what can go wrong with production. Well, quite a lot of different things, and I would start from training turbine skew. If the data you used during the experiments and training is quite different compared to production data, your model's quality can degrade. But in most cases, when something is wrong with the model, that's because the input data is wrong, and there are quite a lot of things which can happen with the input data. It can be data processing issues like broken pipelines or some infrastructure update. It can be a data scheme change, especially if you use some third-party APIs. Or your data can be even lost at the source, for example, if you deal with broken sensors or maybe logging is implemented incorrectly. Even if our data engineers keep us safe and sound, there are still quite a lot of things which can affect our models in production. Quite often, we do not have only one model operating in production. It might be a chain of models where we use the output of the previous one as the input for the next ones. And for example, if we try to build a system which implements the road suggestion for us, we might use several models. For example, the first one to predict traffic jams, the second one to predict the ETA, and final to recommend the road. And if something is wrong with the prediction of traffic jams model, then all the downstream model will suffer. The next very important thing is gradual concept drift. If you take a look at monitoring of model performance, quite often you might see something like this. This is the case where the model's quality degrades in time, and it might happen because of the continuous or gradual concept drift when our target function is changing during the time. Such drift might be sudden, and recent pandemic is a quite well example of it. A lot of models just became irrelevant overnight. And together with concept drift, you might face data drift. This is the case when we observe changes in the input features. For example, let's say that you have a model which relies on some user data, and let's say after a very successful marketing campaign, we recently got quite a lot of new users coming from social networks and much less users coming from paid search. In this case, if two segments are quite different, we might face some model degradation just because the model never saw the users from social networks during the training and it needs to learn the right patterns. Well, sometimes you might face so-called underperforming segments. 
If our data are quite different, so we can see the different segments of users, for example, or objects, we might see that the model works differently on different segments. Somewhere it works better, somewhere it works worse, so we need to make sure that we not only assess the average quality of our model, but also pay attention to the different segments. Now we live in the world of neural networks and sometimes we might face some adversarial adaption. We need to make sure that we are prepared for it and monitor it. So now you know that there are quite a lot of things which can go wrong in production. And well, the next question is how to address this?